L Transformer. Actually, it says here. Hi everyone, in today's video I have this small transformer. Um, you saw probably on my channel in the past some videos with uh, transformers, toroidal or normal ones like uh, this one from here. Um, but today I have something special. Actually, I actually I have a video kind of like kind of like this with uh, the toroidal one um, on my channel. But today I have this one. And uh, this one don't put my amp into protect mode, probably for um, it just overheats here. And I have something to explain, but today's on this episode I will explain. Firstly, I have here my uh, amp output, it can go up to actually 19 volts, something like this. Um, and this transformer works like this. Here is the primary, normal, the pri normally the primary one, and here is the output from the secondary. But here I have some things: the power, input, and output. Actually, let me show to you. Here is the ground point. This should be wired to ground to zero point, and uh, here I have 16 volts on the white cable, and uh, here on the blue one i should have 18 volts so i wire my amp normally between between these two but sometimes i will go within these two um but this is just for a little bit more power but i overheat this uh coil from here so uh, yeah i will use it again as a step up transformer as you can see this transformer is actually really small but uh it is fine to me i guess uh have this design like uh, a bigger one but it's really small one um now i will uh, wire it to my amp and i want to measure the voltages actually um with the low volume from my amp and after this i will go to a higher volume as usual and uh, as usually i will uh, use 60 hertz but for first um here i have this lamp actually you can see let me try to use my light uh actually you can see here probably there is a black part of it and in this part i uh, actually I uh, blew this lamp away up no not away I blew it up sorry my English um, probably here it shows the best um, firstly I used it with micro transformer and uh, after this I uh, chose to use it with uh, this transformer and today without filming anything i have an idea for i saw something and i will show you uh if this transformer goes directly 200 volts into this lamp it will uh, power up without any starter or um, any ballast coil for I should use a ballast coil normally for uh, this lamp to don't blow up, but I uh, didn't use for this one and I didn't use as well a starter and I plugged it directly into my socket and the circuit breaker popped and actually this lamp popped as you can hear probably it sound uh, make a sound probably is the filament going inside i will don't break it i will just throw it away and yeah um i have another one actually a new one okay here is the new one already wired with some wires and these things uh but i want first to show you the transformer values now i think i can uh, turn off my light and i'll bring my multimeter here and i want to show you 
some uh, values from this transformer and some voltage drops when this lamp powers on. Okay, now I will power on this. Uh, this will be pretty hard for me to do, probably. Oh no, I can adjust my uh, tripod like this. So, here I am with this. Um, firstly, now I will uh, give the full volume from my laptop to my amplifier and my amplifier volume is set to minimum and I will use that car amplifier, that uh, purple one, that Fener one and I will wire this uh, to uh, one channel, not in bridge mode, to have some uh, less power and I will use the good channel for uh, my right channel is kind of good but the left channel is so bad that I, I don't think it have the complete sine wave and that will be bad for me now uh, and uh, also I have my Twitter wired for normally I use uh, these wires from uh, a speaker and I have my Twitter with a filter on it and uh, when my uh, amp will um, destroy the sun wave and go to a square wave you will hear some weird noises from the Twitter for um, that are high frequency noises I think or something like this from that wave but uh, yeah I uh, will show you the voltage here now I have some and here we go and I have 138 volts and between one uh, wire and me I have around 5.9 volts that's because okay now 6 volts that this is just for I don't make any good contact on it so if I touch directly this wire nothing will happen to me for it's isolated and uh, it's not separated from ground and uh, live from uh, this transformer if I will uh, separate it with uh, neutral and live wire actually just connect it to ground um, the live wire will uh, be like the normal wires from the power lines now I will increase the volume on my amp and already the sine wave is deformed to a square wave as you can hear but not that bad as if I will do this you can hear it but I think um, it's not just the actual um, Twitter I think is the power supply making some noises for when, when I am um, doing this my uh, amplifier draws some power from my power supply as it is normal for uh, action I'm not matching any impedance for the um, uh, actual amplifier and I have around 200 volts let me increase a little bit the volume here you go I have 200 volts here I think it's enough and now I will connect this sheet to my um, lamp here as you can see but for this I will should do this to show you more things and probably the lamp will ignite by itself at this voltage oh no this time it this not but uh, probably the other one ignites for its uh, to used but if I will disconnect the transformer as you can see here it ignites somehow and if I will connect it directly it will ignite like normal but here I have some voltage drop doing this as you can see um, but one thing I'd like to do is to do this to power the lamp on but the other thing is to use it like this <laughs> and the filament will go red but if I'm doing this, uh, I will actually short the transformer for it don't have that much power. And it's 
risky to do this for I can burn it I can just destroy it but I really like this color and uh, this view and I know it's not good okay now I'm going to um, a small volume and here I have my multimeter and I hope you can see something but probably not so you need to trust me when I'm seeing the values from um, this lamp. Now I turned off the signal from my PC and now I want to put it in this to measure the voltage actually and the voltage drop when this uh, lamp is powered on to show you. I already did this off camera so yeah I need to sorry for this probably but uh, from this I know the, there is no problem doing this actually just burning this transformer but uh, with these poses I think I can uh, use it without burning it um, and another thing I can do to increase the volume uh, the volume actually the voltage is to use this transformer in series with my amp and uh, yeah I know this thing is not good it's really not good for my amp um, for actually I'm using uh, this transformer and you know, I can use my um, transformer with my uh, amp and uh, one of the waves to be uh, 180 degrees by other one so uh, the voltage just increase not doubles for I'm not wiring two transformers I just increase the voltage by doing this but I don't do this now for uh, I don't need it I just want to show you the things with this lamp so here we go I will try to show you I have now this voltage here and if I will touch these wires the voltage will drop to 20 volts oh uh, when the filament just goes red it will uh, increase a little bit but if the lamp is will is open uh, you can see the voltage is here around 44 volts and now i have 14 volts but i will increase the volume from my amp <laughs> and now i have 20 volts when uh, my lamp is red and if i will disconnect it and the lamp will open I'll have the very same 40 volts but the lamp uh, is actually going brighter and uh, here is the whole thing I can uh, show you now the small voltage drop actually not that small but it's a voltage drop um, I think I just need to stop doing this to don't burn my transformer now but I want to show you how it should normally work if you don't know how a lamp like this should work but uh, actually I can show you with um, the only one starter I have here but it don't have a capacitor for I uh, removed it for another pro project as you can see here it's already damaged and I have this one now here like this and it should work um, I think I should use a smaller voltage to show you the actual working for um, okay like this so here we go if this thing will work normally for uh, it cannot work normally from first one right okay oh apparently without that capacitor oh no it do just don't make contact something like this should be working normally um, but with that uh, ballast coil to drops the voltage and power going to this lamp uh, something like what I'm doing now for now I'm not giving 200 volts on it and I'm not giving uh, the full power so it's something like this but I can increase the voltage and show to you 
how this will perform at 200 volts without any ballast coil just the power from my transformer more quick right uh, this is how it should work but with the capacitor this uh, starter here ignites the lamp more quickly and uh, that is the normal usage for it but yeah i'm not as using it normal actually with modern uh, wiring uh, there are some uh, boards like uh, I, I don't know i don't have any meter here around 10 or 15 centimeters in length and one or two centimeters um, in the other side I don't know how to pronounce it um, that will ignite without any flickering the this lamp and uh, it will work normally without any problem and I think it's better for the lamp for it's not giving that much power on uh, it so I think it don't stress the lamp too much but um, wow actually my transformer is a little bit hot yeah it's actually normal for what I'm doing here and uh, yeah thank you for watching and see you next time